We can use match to handle option T. Let's create a function hyphen add one, and this function will take one parameter x, and this x type is option i32, and this function will also return uh, this type is option i32, and uh, inside the curly brackets, let's create a match flow. And uh, this match flow will check this uh, x value. And uh, instead of this match uh, first arm, we should check uh, if this x value is none, it uh, will return none. And uh, if this x value is some i, uh, this i just represents some uh, value of the d type of i32. And it will return sum and this i uh, plus 1. Then in our main function, let's create a variable a1 equal to sum 5. And let's create another variable b. Uh, we need to uh, annotate uh, this b's data type. Uh, it'll be, data type will be option i32 and equal to none. Then let's call this add one function and uh, uh, store this result uh, to a variable a1 equal to add one. Pass the a variable uh, inside of this add one function. Let's create another e one variable equal to add one and uh, pass the b uh, into this function. Then let's print out the result uh, of this. Uh, a one is a colon question marker. A one. Let's copy this and uh, change this to B one is B one. In our terminal, let's cargo run. Um, first, uh, this A one because we pass the uh, this A into this function. This A this value is sum five, so it uh, will not match this now. It will match this sum i. And then it will return this sum and uh, i is 5. So 5 plus 1 is 6. Then it will return um, sum 6. So first uh, result is a1 is sum 6. And uh, when we call this function add 1, pass the b in, in this function because b is now. So it will match this now. It will return now. So b1 is now. This is how we handle the option with match. Hope I'll see you next time.